Oh, 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 what time is it? Six o'clock already? Let's be seats. Do I even bother checking? It'll just be another kit, won't it? There it is, another fucking kit. What a surprise. Oh my god! What the fuck is going on here? Alright, guys, I'm Jack here. Welcome back to Tracy Glory. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright boys and girls, so we've read the title, okay, so you know we've got a GC episode in store. Before we jump into things though boys and girls, we do have Squad Battles rewards. This is the first week that I didn't play Squad Battles very much. It was my birthday this weekend and I just didn't really want to fancy playing FIFA. Like, I just wanted to play a bit of COD and then just other games and I was watching some anime and- Shut the fuck up, no one cares about- Yeah, I just could not be asked to play Squad Battles. Usually I'd play Sunday. I was not in the mood to play fucking squad battles on Sunday, so yeah, we've only got gold free, so not the not the best. However, we will cross our fingers. We've also got the pre-order pack. I didn't think these were still these were still going. He's been going for a little while, so hopefully you get something from the pre-order packs. No. Okay, so we've got a Primex players pack and a Jeremy. I mean, these are these are pretty garbage packs. I probably shouldn't even bother playing any squad battles to be honest with you. Are we gonna get anything? It looks like we're getting nothing. Wait, what? We didn't even get a rare player. Are you shitting me? And the last pack, lads. Come on then. Come on, get it over with EA. No, no, we haven't got boards yet, so you know, just no, it's not gonna happen. Dini, that's what we played for basically. Yes. All right, boys and girls, so we did indeed do this, okay? We did beat David via SBC. He looks absolutely outrageously good. Just looking at his card, boys, if you can fit him in your team, I would definitely recommend you go and do this card. Okay, boys, let's talk about the in-game then. So we got high-low work rates, which is obviously really good for a strike. You got four-star, four-star, which is nice. He unfortunately did get a downgrade on his weak foot, and I have no idea why. So yeah, he had a five-star weak foot last year. I was really hoping that he did have a five-star weak foot this year. I didn't think to check on his normal card, but yeah, four-star weak foot, sadly. This is bullshit. I mean, it's not the end of the world, I guess. It's still good. So if we quickly glance at his record, boys and girls, you can see that we played a couple of games with him and scored one goal. Both of those games were off the bench in Weekend League, and in the second game, it was 0-0 uh, in the 93rd minute. Big boy, David Villa, come up and got us the winner. So we won that game 1-0, and that was for gold free. So that was a massive goal. <laughs> yeah, boy. So we've got 90 pace, lads, with 87 acceleration. I'm not really too sure how that's 90 pace. That should probably be like 89. The shooting stats are where it's at, boys. You've got 9 to attacking position and 9 to finishing, which is just outrageously good. You've got 86 long shots, amazing shot power volleys. I mean, penalties don't really matter that much. I swear, I've had fucking Varon put ones in Rose Ed and he's got incredible penalties, but he has 96 pens. Passing stats are really nice, lads, which is really good for me because I'm going to be playing him in the cam position, I think. Now, the only real downside to this card looking at it is that agility is only 77. I know that it's not bad, but it's not the craziest, especially when you've got these 91 agility players just weaving in and out of your defenses. Would have liked a bit more agility on this card. Fucking useless sack of shit. Get out! We have chucked the sniper cam style on him, so I think we do get a plus 10 with that. So it is going to be what, 87 with the sniper cam style, which is decent. But in terms of the other dribbling stats, you've got 94 in game dribbling, 95 composure, which is immaculate. And to top the card off, you've got 85 strength. Actually, really good stamina. That was, again, another fear because obviously he's a bit older now. I was hoping that he'd have decent stamina and the 8 to 1's not crazy, but it's definitely not bad. But yeah, you've just got an unreal card here, boys and girls. Imagine this card had a 5-star weak foot. He'd be near perfect. So anyway, lads, you're looking at my team and you're probably thinking, Michel, how are we going to get him into the team, all right? You've got Paulinho, you've got Hernandez. You're like, what the, what the fuck's going on here? So, lads, I am going to have to sell my Louis Hernandez in order to use this David Villa because obviously Hernandez is playing in the cam position and I want David Villa to play there. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. Obviously, I could get rid of Drogba, but I, I love Drogba too much. I, do, I like Hernandez, but Drogba's too good for me. I just He's incredible. I think the plan is going to be, boys, we're going to sell our Louis Hernandez. We've already got 350-ish K in the bank, so we'd have about 850K if I sell Hernandez. Ugh, wow. So I've been thinking about this a lot, lads. I've been thinking about it quite a lot. I think what we're going to do, this is going to be the play, okay? I'm going to move Hernandez over to where Paulinho is, so that's going to switch. We are going to be selling Louis Hernandez. He's not going to be there. That's where David V is going to be. Obviously, we've got a bit of a problem here at the centre-back and left-back position. I'm probably going to get an icon centre-back where Varane is. I'm going to sell my Varane for about 200-ish K, and then we're going to get a Brazilian left-back. So I think we'll probably go with Inform Teles. I'm not too much sure like how much he is, but hopefully he's not too much. If he is, if he is too much money, I'll just get Alexandro. So a lot of you guys will be thinking, Michelle, really? You're selling Varane, even though Canate is complete trash for you? Well, lads, there's been a little bit of a 
It's a little bit, little bit of a shift in the waves. In order to explain this, lads, I have to explain my weekend league, okay? So we only played 20 games this weekend. Like I said, it was my birthday. I didn't want to play that much FIFA. We only played 20 games because I just wanted gold free. That's right, lads. We got gold free with only 20 games played. So I only lost six games this weekend. That's pretty good. Part of that reason, big boy Canate, he's gone from one of the worst centre backs I've ever reviewed to my favourite centre back. This guy is unreal. I think he picked up something like six man of the matches in 20 games. It's centre back, bear in mind. Not striker. It's easy to get man of the matches with a striker. It, this guy was just unreal. He, he was just incredible. So he's massively grown on me. It's actually crazy I'm saying this because like I said, like every time I seem to record with Canate, he does shit things and you guys are pretty thinking, oh Canate, what a pile of shit. No, I really like him now and I just don't even know how this has happened. So out of Varane and Canate, I actually do slightly prefer Canate now. I'm not to say Varane's bad, I in fact love Varane, I, I, I would love to keep them both, but obviously chemistry is a bitch, and we'd have to get Marcelo here, and I don't particularly want to get Marcelo, because he's, he's a bit too slow, so I'd rather get Tellez, basically. Not to mention, I really want to keep this Mbappé card, because he's got to be the best right back I've probably ever used in any FIFA, like, I'm serious. And obviously, I need a centre-back from the Bundesliga to do that, and Canate fits that description. And Canate will also be getting progressively better as he gets upgrades and stuff, so I don't want to get rid of him, I want to keep using him, so he, you know, he, he gets even better and stuff. So I think that's going to be the play, lads. I'm going to get an icon centre back here, inform tellers there, and then David Villa up front, and everything should be on full cam. We might even have a little bit of money left over, who knows. <laughs> Incredible. As for the icon centre back we're going to be getting, lads, I'm not too sure. I think I know who I want, but I'm really not too sure. You guys can give me some suggestions in the comments. I can pretty much get any icon centre back except for, say, Maldini and anyone else I'm not thinking of. Maybe Rio Ferdinand is a bit too expensive. Uh, who else is there? Blanc? No, I could probably afford Blanc. I might even be able to afford Blanc. So you guys give me suggestions on the icon centre backs. I think I know who I want. I want to get this card. It's a little bit slept on and I don't see too often. But uh, uh, if I don't get him, you guys, you know, suggest me shit. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll definitely look over your suggestions. Anyway, I think what we're going to do for this episode, lads, because obviously I don't want to sell Louis Hernandez just yet because I haven't done a review on him and he, he deserves that much. He's been very good for me. I deserve He deserves a review, okay? So I think I'm going to make an entirely separate team because I want to kill two birds with one stone, okay? And I've got a little, I've got a little plan. So if you guys have been paying attention to objectives, you know there's an EPA objective so I'm gonna try and put a couple of EPL players in here with of course David Villa so that way I can get some wins hopefully we get some goals with EPL players and you know we, we kill a few birds with one stone and obviously to have a and yeah you guys know what I'm trying to say right so I'm gonna quickly build a little team with David Villa and some EPL players so uh, I'll be back to you guys in a second two thousand years later all right boys and girls so we put together a cheeky little team obviously there's a couple of players that stand out as a little bit shit obviously Sadibe not ideal but he's the only French right back in the Prem except for some Aston Villa guy who's in fact worse and of course we've got Ayosi Perez at left wing when he is in fact a right winger so he's sadly on 7 chem but he's not a bad little card he's in the club and he'll help us get those Leicester goals so I think that's a decent little ambling to David Villa yeah I guess so yeah but yeah I'm happy with this lads there's lots of Prem players in here lots of players that can score us some goals and hopefully get us some objectives done and of course David Villa being on full chem so we can fully test him so yeah fingers crossed for some wins boys and girls let's jump into game number one Oh my lord, what a pass from Bucha. What's Bucha. up, Fluttus? what are you doing, fam? Are you going to kill me? I would certainly like to. G oh, come on. Yes. Beautiful pass. Bucha alone. Bucha alone? David Villa! Ah! Villa! No! Right, it's a great ball. Perez. Give me a run. Bucha on that bike, lad. What a pass. Make that run, Yosi. Anyone make that run? Jesus Christ, David Villa. I see that run. Oh, one more. Please! Yes! What a fit! Is that Undon Bele? What a strike! Great play, boys! Damn, boy! Stevie on the move. The absolute mad lad. Oh, yes. Into David Villa. I see you, Butra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid it and then play Chong. And then Chong left foot. And that is beautiful. Great assist from David Villa. Trying to repent from those prior prior mistakes. That cheeky open goal miss that for some reason we had to all witness. Oh shit, he's, he's done me. He's completely done me. And then I've... Oh no, I panicked and I pulled my keeper out for some unknown reason. You're a fucking idiot. Alright, now we're here. From kickoff, lad. Come on. Still fast as fuck, boy. Oh yes. Come get God, his dribbling is... It's impeccable. <sighs> if that had went in, that would have been fucking goal of the century. Come on, and Oh, and on. That's surely offside. No, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, God. Is this a good thing? <laughs> Is this actually happening? Come on, Wallen. 
Oh, David! Yes! Come on, David, here. Let's see that left foot. Finish! What is that save? How is he even doing that? What is this? Yozy correct? That was brilliant. Go on, lad. Oh! Is that, is that actually Yozy? That was incredible from him. And a fan it is. What a fantastic finish. Why is everyone scoring but Butchagueno and David Villa? Okay, David. What a brilliant bit of footwork. Go on, lad. Let's get that goal. He's, his footwork is unbelievably good. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, you're gonna blow that fucking whistle. What is this? Look at that time, lads. And like, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Well, overall, boys and girls, that was a good performance. It wasn't a great performance. There was something that happened that kind of stopped that from happening. But the things I liked about him, lads, his dribbling is unbelievably good. Like, seriously, I can't quite describe it. Obviously, he's not super agile or anything, but his, his ball control and just weaving in and out of players, it, it's unbelievably good. His pace felt really, really good. His passing felt really, really nice. So I, I liked a lot about this card. Again, it was just the finishing that let him down in this one. So yeah, we'll jump into one more game, lads. Hopefully, you get some goals with Davavir because that, you know, obviously that's the only thing really stopping me from absolutely giving him a seal of approval. But yeah, I like what I see so far, so let's jump into game number two. It's really nice play. Really like that. Go on, get in the box down here. Great pass. I'm seeing that run from Chong. It's got to be. Chong! Come on! What a pass from David Villa. Honestly, I don't know if this sounds weird because it's David Villa, but one of my favourite parts of him right now is his passing. He doesn't misplace passes. Like, Chong, you don't need to get that close. Oh, you lucky son of a gun! Unless he's not lucky if David Villa just goes all the Oh my god, go on, lad. David Villa! Oh, say we're this close to scoring a, a real goal! Bro, what are you talking about, man? Come on. Well, then, David Villa on the bike, lad. Look at that for a pass from. It's gotta be. If we miss this, it's over. David Villa, why can't I score with you? <laughs> what the fuck? No! This guy, I'm, I'm boycotting this game. I just, there's, I, I don't need it. There's better games out there. There just are better games out there. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Via. What a part it's got this time, Via. This time. Ah! Yes! What a strike! Finally, though! How long should it take to score with David Via? Apparently, 170 minutes. That's not maths. 150 minutes. You're so stupid! Right, Via. Brilliant bit of dribbling. Oh, this is brilliant. All the way! Come on, David Villa! I'm telling you, boys, if you just want a dribbler, if nothing else, David Villa's got some of the best dribbling I've ever used in this game. He is unreal on the ball. It's just wiggle, wiggle, straight past players. That agility just doesn't even matter. I need a, I need a runner. I mean, Boutras could just go all the way. No. Oh, he's, he's, he's given up. He's given up on life. Boutra, get yourself a goal. Ah! There we go. I don't, he stopped playing, so I mean, I'll take it. We get a win, and we'll, we could, if he is actually stopped playing, we could get some Premier League goals here. Come on, let's. No, don't blow the whistle. Don't blow the whistle. Not yet. Keep. It. Ah, I wanted to get another goal for the Prem boys. I like it. All right, boys and girls. I think that about concludes things. My overall verdict on Davavia is dribbling 10 out of 10. Like his dribbling is unbelievable. His finishing. Once he got going, his finishing was completely fine. I don't know what was going on with him though. His finishing seemed a little bit off at the start. But then again, I had a similar problem with my Butra Gueno. For some reason, when I first got Butra, he couldn't finish, and now he's prolific as ever. So I would definitely recommend this card just on just on his his performance. I think it's a genuinely really good price for the card you're getting if he fits your team i definitely would say you should do it i think 250k you get some decent little packs back i genuinely think this is one of the better spcs he's done this year not to mention this is the last time you're probably going to see a card like this from david via until he gets an icon card so i definitely think you should do it it's really early in the year as well for a card like this to be out with 94 in-game dribbling and 91 fit like ea is adamant on breaking this game i think so go and do it if he fits the team uh, i mean if you can get boot out of the icon swaps you get a nice little green link to the Vier. I think that's a great little partnership. But yeah, overall, I just had a lot of fun with him. I thought he was really good, especially his dribbling. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.